What color was Jesus? Man, who knows? Let's get something straight first, okay? Be Jewish is not a race, okay? <laughs> Jewish is a religion, okay? For real. I, I was looking at the internet the other day and I saw these. There were some Japanese Jewish people and folks were tripping, you know? How could that be? I didn't know they were. Come on, it's, if there are Japanese Christians, there would be Japanese Jew Basically, you could sign into a religion, simply. So being a Christian, you can't look at a person and say, oh, that, that person, I could tell they're not a Christian because of what color they are. The same as you, can, you can't tell by looking at a Jew, you know, what, what, you know, you can't look at a person and tell if they're Jewish or not by the color of their skin, just as, easy, just as you can't look at a Christian, you know. And well, you know, they're not a Christian, I can tell by what color they are, you know, or something like that. It's a religion, okay? It's not a race. I mean, how, how ridiculous. And what I find very... You know, even the gentleman that put out this video, you know, that I'm responding to, you know, I've been following you for some time now, and I appreciate, you know, a lot of your opinions of the things that you've put out there. Jesus freak, right? That's cool. But, but the reality is, when you put yourself out there, I mean, you're, you're just saved, okay? But, and, and, I, and you're all right guy with me, but to, to me, when you put yourself out there as some kind of uh, expert where people are sending you letters and asking you questions like, is it blasphemous for somebody to say that Jesus was black? You, when you put yourself out as an expert, you have a responsibility to really know what you're talking about. Because the people that are asking you questions really don't know, and, so, and they're believing your words, okay? And so what I'm telling you, when you say something like, well, they were Jewish, and that how somehow has something to do with the color of the person's skin, and, and this person who knows less than you are believing what you're, you're, you're the blind leading the blind. And I like you, man, so I'm not even coming down on you that hard. I'm just saying you have a responsibility to know that, that, that the race, and, if, and when you're talking then about what color, say, Jesus was, or Moses, or all those guys, you need to recognize the difference between a European Jew and a Hebraic Jew. You know, the Hebrews, you know, from, from the line of the Hebrews, these are the dark colored folks, okay? And anytime you see a white Jew, you're looking at European converts to Judaism. <clears throat> you need to know that if, you, if you're going to be here in a place of, of helping people, you know, get insight in, into some of their uh, Christ questions, you know, regarding the Bible and all, we need to know that. There are a lot of things that we don't know, we don't recognize. Now, I'm going to lay this out real quick. And, and you can, after this, you can pick what color you think Jesus was. But you need to recognize the region of the people over there are pretty dark skinned in all that area. And, and most, of your, most of the references, most of the references that, that, that we have that are showing light skinned people or white people or whatever are due to the, 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 the detour that the religion took through Europe. So all of the references, even the patriarchs, you know, come out as Caucasians, and they're not. Now, now, it really isn't an issue, and it is an issue to me, and I've never really ministered it up until now. <laughs> but but it's, it's the reality. They were all people of color. And, and this was a religion that, that the, the Europeans simply bought into. And, and, and that's okay, because you can, just like to, to become a, to be in the, part of the Jewish religion. It doesn't matter what race you are, it's a religion, and you can become Jewish. And, and same with the Christianity, so you, you need to understand that the patriarchs, you know, I have my son, and he, he graduated from a Catholic high school, you know, and all their pictures and all their patriarchs, you know, they're all white guys, and it wasn't. I mean, I didn't trip on it because I don't think it's that big of an idea, but when people begin to say, well, they were white, then, then it, must, it must be addressed. But no, it's not. We need to understand. Even, so, so all those people were, were a, a dark-colored people, and it was the European influence in those lands, whether you're talking about conquest, whether you're talking about migration and intermarriage through trade or whatever. This is, this is when the mixing of the races began. This is from, from the European continent. And it's from the Asian continent. There's a lot of influences in the, in the Middle East and in Africa in those regions right now. But you need to recognize that. So we're talking about Abraham from Ur of the Chaldees, Mesopotamia. These are dark-skinned people as well. Hebrew. This was Hebrew. So, so just, just understand or do a little bit of homework. Well, Abraham, you know, left Ur of the Chaldees. And, and he had a child. He had a son named Isaac, right? 
And, and uh, then his son Isaac had two sons, Esau, Jacob. These are all Hebrews, okay? These are not the Europeans up here. The, the white Jews that you see today, which are fine, they're Jewish because they're, they're, their forefathers signed into the Jewish religion, but they don't have the Hebrew, Abraham's blood in them. It, it, not necessarily. Not really. You know, I do have a teaching on that, that, that everyone may have Abraham's blood in them, but that's something else. But we just need to see that. So then you have you have Jacob, who later became Israel, who was the child of Isaac, okay? He had his, his children, right? All of his sons, the patriarchs of Israel. These were all Hebrews as well. These were all dark-skinned Hebrew people, and it, it's no problem. The problem is when, we, when we, we do most of our Bible study comes from watching the movies, whether it's the Ten Commandments, whether it's Jesus of Nazareth. We think Jesus looks like Jeffrey Hunter or Max von Sydow. We think Moses looks like Charlton Heston or Joshua looks like John Derrick. It wasn't that way. So we need to understand that even the Egyptians and, and all these things, the, the, the light folks that we, the, that we see depicted are basically from the European influence and that's okay. The Europeans were the Caucasians, okay? Just, just look at the map and recognize and quit trying to make it work toward, toward white folks and black folks need to just quit fighting this battle. It's not that important. So then you find uh, Jacob, who later became Israel, had his kids, had like 12 kids, right? Through, through, his, uh, through uh, his two wives, Rebecca, Leah, and their maids, okay? So that's where, that's where the patriarchs of Israel, all these guys were Hebrews, okay? And then Joseph, you know, I'm making this really quick, sold into slavery in Egypt, the famine, Israel ended up going to Egypt. Over, over 400 years, even before their bondages, they were fine living there. They were intermingling and intermixing and marrying even with the Egyptians and whatever else people were in there. I'm telling you, even when you look at the story about Moses, when Moses came back, you know, when Moses left Egypt, you know, fled Egypt and all, and he, and he was mistaken for an Egyptian. There was no difference. Hebrews and Egyptians looked alike. They weren't white. Come on now. I mean, it's not a, that big a deal, but it's just the reality of truth. Jesus said that the truth will make us free. So this is a freedom, a reality. And so even after 400 or some years when they left Egypt, they were all looking like Egyptians, and half of them were Egyptians. Even Joseph's wife was an Egyptian, and, and his children, uh, Manasseh and Ephraim, were half Hebrew, half Egyptian. There was no difference in the look of Hebrews and Egyptian. Remember, even when Joseph's brothers came uh, because of the famine to get food, they didn't know Joseph. They thought he was an Egyptian, and Joseph was using his translator, okay? Remember? I'm making this quick, but if you know the Bible, you know what I'm talking about. So even when they, when they left, and this is something that most folks don't understand, when they left the bondages of Egypt, when they were set free by Charlton Heston, right, by Moses, okay, and over the journey, over the journey, and over history, you know, we go history quickly all the way to David, and, and then David, he dies, right, Solomon takes his place, his son, he dies, we got Rehoboam, Rehoboam, the new king of, of Israel, out of the tribe of Judah, Treats them really bad. The tribe split. At that moment, Trip, you need to go in your Bible and see this. First of all, we need to understand that there's a difference even in the Hebraic line between Jews and Israel. See, if you're going to set yourself up as a teacher, you need to know this. There's the northern kingdom, which is Israel, and there's the southern kingdom, which is Judah. Hence the Jews, where the Jews come up out of. And all through the Bible, Rehoboam, well, when they first split, Rehoboam was over, was over Judah, Right? The Jews and Jeroboam was over Israel. So this is the biggest. We don't even know the difference between Jews and Israels, even though even the ones that come from the Hebraic line. So there's so much that we need to study, that we need to learn and understand. Uh, that <laughs> because we are causing ourselves a whole world of hurt. We don't even know who Israel is today. For real. We think Jews and Israel, well, interchangeable Jews, Israel, what's the difference? No, it's not that way at all. Go back in your Bible and recognize that all through the Old Testament, the prophets were waiting for the day that Israel and, and the Jews and Judah would come back together. So the Jews were out of Judah, and the Bible is talking about God's desire was to see Israel and Judah come back together. So if the Jews are from Judah, and God's desire was for Israel and Jews to come back together, the question that you need to ask yourself is then who is Israel? If the Jews are from Judah and God's desire is for Israel and Judah to come back together one day, then who is Israel? 
Okay, we are so confused and we are like the blind leading the blind. I'm, I'm cool with you, man, but this is simply a reality. Go to my, uh, go to my page, okay, and look at my vlog, uh, my, my vlog. I have